Hey, this is MassX with another Echo Calypse video. And over the weekend, we had a drop of a whole bunch of new stuff for the game, beginning with our lawful conduct time limited event with new. We can talk about new a bit. I'll go ahead and have some polling session in the back, which is just absolutely ridiculously dumb. They really need to change. If it's a limited banner, the character should be at least 50-50, if not higher. Absolutely getting ridiculous on polls and rates when it comes to the limited character. But besides that, of course, we got the themed event, which we will take a look at, as well as her vibration arm. We also got the gold flower awards, a cash grab to say the absolute least i don't recommend this for anybody unless you're a high spender and even then i think it's a joke i don't even bother with it at this point because i think it's absolutely atrocious this thing that they've been doing lately on multiple different avenues we did get the jungle mirage which i have a whole separate video for and if you're interested in getting more information on that of course I felt that it needed its own video because it is brand new and quite honestly on a scale to 1 to 10 I give it a 7 I think it has a lot of pluses and fewer minuses so for that I'm very happy about it so check out that video I'll leave a link in the description and of course they put another seven day starlight up, another cash grab in my opinion. Stay away from it. I mean, it's, it is what it is. Hey, thanks to the good people at the Hawaii App Store who are sponsoring this video. We're gonna talk about what they have to offer you Echo Calypse players. Well, valid through the 30th of April, 2024. There is an exclusive Echo Clips free gift code on the campaign page that you will be able to get. You're going to be able to claim two discount coupons at up to 50% off. You can claim four times during the campaign period, and that will be each 24 hours. You also automatically get your 15% back in Hawaii points for all in-game purchases. And don't forget, forget about their VIP program. All the necessary links are going to be in the description, but for you people that did not take advantage of this last month, you have to install App Gallery. You're probably asking yourself, how do I do that? Well, like I said, the links are going to be in the description, but you're going to install the App Gallery app. You're going to install and update the HMS Core. That link will be in the description. You're going to create a Hawaii ID and you're going to select App Gallery Region. So for instance, Germany, France, United Kingdom, Spain, etc. Turkey is also valid. This is mainly EU, just keep that in mind. And participate in the campaign to get the benefits. You'll delete your current game version that you have and you'll download Echo Calypse from the app gallery. Just remember to save your particular account before you delete that. And you can use either Facebook or Guitarcade account, which you might be already using, so super easy. Once you get that rolling, you will be acquiring Y points. And when you get those points, you can use those for redemptions in game, cashback promotions, etc., etc. Really good stuff. And if you're wondering how you're going to be able to claim those awesome coupons that you will be getting, basically you claim those discount coupons in the campaign page, you hit claim, you can check your claimed coupons in the app gallery, me, my rewards coupon section, you open the game downloaded from app gallery, and you purchase the packages that you are looking to get, the coupon will apply automatically, it is that freaking simple. On top of everything else we've talked about, they have even more benefits. Like I talked about, there's a VIP program that you can get more information about, as well as if you have any further questions, you can hit the Discord. I will have that link also in the description. And there's an old friend 50% off coupon. More information can be had on their Discord as well as in the App Gallery app. But yeah, it is that crazy, that easy. So yeah, you Echo Calypse players in the EU, you need to be taking advantage of this because you get the free gift code in the campaign page for April. You can have two discount coupons up to 50% off. You can claim four times during the campaign period. 
yes, you got to be doing this. What are you doing? You're burning money by not doing this, people. So come on, take advantage of this awesome offer by Hawaii App Gallery. New though, the character itself looks absolutely really nice. Like I said, very much encourage players to check out Jungle Mirage. I think it's very much worth it. The Lawful Conduct event is your standard event. You've got the boss battle, you've got the main story, and of course you've got the document area where you get more of the event currency, as well of course the event shop itself. If you've been playing this game, you know exactly what to do. It's very simple. Just make sure you're doing it daily and you're going to be able to pretty much clear out a good portion of the shop. The card star, like I talked about before, is basically just another spending event. Do not recommend it. You may want the cards, but it's just silly how they have this stuff set up and they're doing it every week now for all different stuff. And the Goldflower Awards, again, what you have to put in for what you get is absolutely atrocious. Do not recommend it at all unless you are absolutely nuts about getting the sting of circuit, which, you know, inflicts Neolith damage equal to 336% on enemy target with the lowest HP percentage and inflicts Neolith damage of 168% on the surrounding targets. It's nice, but not for what it's going to get you. It's just, yeah, to me, this again... I don't like how they set these up at all. I think it is very too pay to win heavy. I have no problem with um, games having to support themselves. I think it's understandable. There's a lot of costs that go into every type of business and you need to recoup that or you don't stay in business. But there's right ways and wrong ways to handle things. And the Goldflower Awards as well as what we were just talking about for the card star are just kind of gross actually and they just you know leave a bad taste in your mouth just like the draw the drawing session for the characters in limited banner and again accounting for 40 percent in a limited banner is really gross at least make it 50 50 um even at that i find it at least it's palatable because a lot of games go with the 50-50. But doing a 40% is really getting to be old at this point. You've heard people discuss this. You've seen other games. Just alter it to a minimum of 50-50 for the banner itself. You would make so many more people happy. You may lose a few dollars, but you're going to probably gain those from people willing to take the shot at it that normally wouldn't because at least they know the chance is 50-50 and not less. I mean, come on. The character skin that was released looks absolutely phenomenal. It's in the background, as you can see. I had to get that. That's just uh, one of those skins that you needed to have. I think it looks pretty dang good. Not that the one that they, she comes with is bad, but it looks really nice. Now, this character is an absolute beast, but not a must-get. If you run a lot of burn teams, then you probably have already considered going after her. But basically with this character, um, at four stars, she unleashes a wave of flames, deals magic damage of 65% attack to four random enemies, and it prioritizing targets not in Scorched Land. On top of that, if a target is already in Domain of Flames, additionally restore two rage, which is just crazy that she can do that. Anything that takes away or gives rage is just really good in this game then you've got the heart blade against the current if you have her in this she really blows up at five stars so sadly five stars is probably the best bang for your buck but at seven stars it gets crazy flame gas bursts to deal magic damage of 193 percent attack to four random enemies 
prioritizing targets not in Scorched Land. Heating up Scorched Land transforms into Lava Land, clears two attribute buffs from the target. Lava Land inherits the same effect of Scorched Land. When the target uses normal attacks, there's a 50% chance that they won't restore rage. If the target casts a skill, there is a 100% chance to increase the rage required by two. That is just ridiculous. When casting it for the first time, the caster loses all rage after their first skill cast. Absolutely think that is just absolutely stupid sick. But in the gear set buff, at tier two, tier four, really at tier six, it's just, you know, in this case, I don't think you, you need the tier six by no means, but if you do, um, basically, using the power of flame, new forms of protection that grants immunity to rage reduction and one control effect on the first round. News attacks ignite the ground beneath the target, turning into Scorched Land for the entire battle. So that's where you're getting your Scorched Land, of course. Um, reduces the enemy's team's attack damage bonus and skill damage by 35% for three rounds. That is just crazy. So, and on top of it, um, Reduces the damage dealt by all cases if they're in Scorched Land by 10% and inflicts them with burn. Just, yeah, yeah. Again, if you're running the burn team, she's, she's, you probably already got her. You probably already pulled for her because she's freaking just that good. And she's just got, she's just good all around. I would recommend, even for free to play if you can, just getting a copy of her because of the passive. But if you don't really mess around at all with the burn teams you made and just skip it and not and save up because we already have seen the type of characters coming and they're just going to get stronger and better because we know this game's been around a lot for a while. So it's, there's no doubt it, it's going to be coming in full force. But what can I say? She's a solid unit. Amazing. Looks great. The wardrobe outfit. They gave to her is no complaints here but yeah great character just gonna matter what your needs are for your team and if you focus on that burn team type of dynamic so let me know if you pulled on her let me know what you think of her let me know what you think of all the other garbage um with that as always please like and subscribe helps a lot have a great day